guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new thank you so much for stopping on by i would love to have you join our little family and our youtube channel i do all things mommy involved in here with my two little girls one is three her name is shukri marie and layla who is one and a half and i am expecting my third baby girl in a row to make three girls under three years old in may of this year so in just four short months we're gonna have our newborn baby girl which we already have her name picked out i'm not new to this pregnancy thing i've been pregnant several times and i definitely am scared this time around just like i have been with all my other pregnancies so in this video i want to jump into going over some pregnancy myths and there are so many new moms and first time mommies that are pregnant that are scared to do certain things that they did in their everyday life before becoming pregnant that they want to know if they can do now. So we are going to go ahead and jump into this video talking about pregnancy myths. So myth number one, can you drink coffee while you are pregnant? Coffee is definitely okay while you are pregnant during your whole pregnancy it's completely fine to drink it in moderation though you can't just have coffee after coffee after coffee and latte after latte after latte you have to moderate your coffee to 200 milligrams in one day and one 24 hour period so don't go crazy thinking you can run up to starbucks and dutch bros all day every day drinking coffee and getting your drink on because you cannot so coffee is obviously a natural diuretic, which can obviously lead to going to the bathroom more and urinating more, especially when we're already urinating a lot while we are pregnant, 200 milligrams a day at the most, which equals out to roughly around a 12 ounce cup of coffee on a daily basis. So coffee is okay. Myth number two, can you be intimate with your partner during your pregnancy? Yes, you can. The baby is protected inside of the woman's womb by so many protective layers that a there are several centimeters between your cervix and the baby inside the womb. So um, if you feel like you want to be intimate, don't be scared. Just go ahead and be intimate. In fact, if your body is ready and you're 40 weeks pregnant and you feel like you need some type of way to go into labor and induce your own labor, it is recommended to be intimate with your partner when your body is naturally ready to have baby and speed up your labor process and get your contractions going. So go ahead and be intimate with your partner while you're pregnant. Myth number three in which I have been told so many different things by so many different doctors and been scared through a couple of my pregnancies. Is it okay to eat spicy food and spices while you are pregnant? It is okay to eat spicy foods when you're pregnant. Obviously, some people during their pregnancy are gonna get heartburn on top of the pregnancy heartburn that you're already having if you eat spicy food. Eating spicy food and spices is not supposed to affect the mother or the baby during pregnancy. Well, I do myself buy my own fresh spices and grind them myself at an African store locally in my town because my husband is from Africa and he loves several different spices and a lot of cooking that we do. We use cardamom, cinnamon, um, anise seed, a lot of sweeter and savory type of spices and I haven't had any type of um, reactions or anything post any concern to my unborn babies while I am pregnant. Myth number four is we've all heard this one if you're carrying high it's a girl if you are carrying low it's a boy guess what folks there is no scientific evidence to prove if you're carrying high you're gonna have a baby girl and if you're carrying low you're gonna have a baby boy you can just throw that myth out because it's not true myth number five exercising while pregnant is a big no-no that is completely not true i had a good friend of mine who was a weightlifter like legit like lifting hundreds of pounds during her pregnancy and her baby boy came out completely fine her doctor told her it was completely safe and it poses no risk as long as she's not overdoing it there are several types of exercising that are totally healthy and fine yoga and pilates strength training walking it's supposed to be super good for your pregnancy going on a brisk walk 
just make sure that you're not putting any strain on your muscles and your body while you are working out or getting any type of exercise. Riding a stationary bike is good. Low impact aerobics. Ew, I haven't said aerobics since... I haven't even heard the word aerobics since I was little when my mom used to go to aerobics. <laughs> is that even... Are there aerobics classes anymore? I don't know. Hair dyeing. Can you get your hair dyed while you are pregnant? Make sure your hairstylist knows that you are pregnant and professionally they are supposed to know that you're not supposed to get any type of hair dye on your scalp or however that works exactly how to treat your hair since you are pregnant. So yes, you can have your hair dyed when you are pregnant. Getting your nails done, everyone knows when you're getting acrylics or gel polish or anything when you're sitting in that chair the whole building and the whole room is fumed with that acrylic-y chemical-y smell we all know that smell there's nothing wrong with getting your nails done and having a pamper day when you're pregnant because we all need it from time to time we're women and that's just what we do um make sure your nail salon has a well ventilated air conditioning system and the room is well ventilated whether the door is open or there's windows open and if you're still concerned wear a mask so yeah go ahead and get yourself primmed and have a woman's day spa day whatever and get your nails done just again make sure the room is well ventilated or you can wear a mask and that is it for our pregnancy myths. If you have any pregnancy myths that you're wondering about or any corrections or anything that you feel like I am mistaken by, leave that stuff in the comments. I love to interact with all of my subscribers and talk to you guys on a daily basis. And I am in no way a scientist or I haven't done any personal research. These are all things that I found on the internet, things that I have done in my daily life that have not affected me or my unborn children. So um, as with anything that you're concerned about or any type of risk, risky activity, ask your doctor before you do any of these drinking coffee, exercising, getting your nails done, definitely ask your doctor before you do anything that you think could be harmful to your pregnancy or your unborn baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.